Hey guys, I am here with a quick toy review of Scribble Knots Unmasked Series 2 uh, blind boxes. And uh, so this has been a bit of a delay. I didn't think that it was necessarily a, a huge thing. And then I was looking back through our videos and I saw we had almost 3,000 views on Series 1 of these. And thought, well, maybe people are actually interested in them. So let's go ahead and take a, a look at them. So anyway, these are the ones we've picked up so far. Uh, as with Series 1, it's great character depth. And uh, another thing is just a great price. And so I've been a big fan of these all the way around. Real quick so you can kind of look at some of the ones we've not picked up so far. In case you're not that familiar, there's the Cyborg and the Gold Batman there. Flash is also one that's eluded us so far. And then, uh, yeah, that Batman as well there. So anyway, looking at what we do have, though, right off the bat for Series 2 of this DC uh, property... It's just awesome that these are, you know, going so deep into kind of the character offerings. And so it's not just, you know, your standard Batman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Superman, and so forth, but that they're actually getting into some depth. So Bane, not that he's the most obscure uh, Batman villain by any means. But then we got Blue Beetle, Red Superman, and Blue Superman as uh, variants, obviously. Uh, Sinestro, but then he's in his Green Lantern Corps outfit, so uh, variations uh, on the outfit itself. Aquaman in the blue outfit, so again, a variation there. And then we've got Max. Last time uh, we had him in kind of the Green Lantern role. This time he is in a Starro outfit, which is just, you know, super cool to get a blind box, you know, DC type of cheap little $6 figure here. But it's got the five points of articulation, like uh, all these ones have. And the fact that you get this type of character depth, just get those kinds of different uh, characters included in the series. So again, really big fans of this. As much as we collect things like Vinylmation and Funko Mystery Minis and things like that, I mean, we're definitely a fan of the blind box formula because it's just, you know, they're fun characters, they're silly uh, renderings of them, and usually they're not that expensive. That being said, when you're looking at a Vinylmation at $12, $13, sometimes more, um, you know, it's nowhere near to me the value that you're getting out of these guys with the five points of articulation, which is just a perfect amount for kind of these silly little cartoon type figures. And again, the character depth, you know, it's not going to be easy to find a Blue Beetle figure sitting on a shelf at a Target in any other uh, form or a Red Superman or so on and so forth. And the fact that, uh, you know, they chose as one of their mystery kind of chase figures in this series to go with Max as a Starro, I think is just awesome. It says pretty much all that needs to be said about the series, which is they're simple, they're fun, they're cheap, and although they're cheap, they're not cheap in quality. You know, they really do more than a lot of blind box kind of mystery figures do. And so I'd say Series 2 fits right there with Series 1 as some of my favorite blind box figures that we've seen uh, from anyone. You know, so definitely looking forward to Series 3 hitting the cell soon. And uh, we'll come back with a review of those when we pick up some of those. So until next time, we'll see you in line somewhere.